In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2S plus ZnCl2, sodium sulfide plus zinc chloride. With net ionic equations, first we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I have two sodiums here and just one here. So I'm going to put a two here. That balances the sodiums. Two chlorines, two chlorines, one zinc, and one sulfur. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the states for each substance. Sodium compounds are very soluble. We're going to write AQ. That's going to dissolve and dissociate. Chlorides, they're also very soluble. And here we have sodium chloride. That's going to be soluble. Zinc sulfide, though, if you look zinc sulfide up on a solubility table, you're going to find that this is a solid. So it's going to precipitate out, fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two substances react. So we have our net ionic equation, and we have a precipitate in there, which we need to pay attention to. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and this will be our complete ionic equation. Sodium's in group one on the periodic table. It has a one plus. Sulfide ion is two minus. So I have sodium, Na plus, but the two means I'll have two, so I need a coefficient of two there. I'll write aqueous at the end, plus I have the sulfide ion, S two minus, and then for zinc, that's one you should remember. It's always going to have a two plus ionic charge, even though it's a transition metal. Chlorine that forms the chloride ion, which is one minus. So we have Zn two plus, plus we have two of the chloride ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the product, we know sodium plus, and we have a minus here, so two sodium ions. And it's just like our reactants, plus the two goes to everything here, so two chloride ions. And we said we have a solid here. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so it just stays ZnS. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So I have my reactants and products. I can see I have two sodium ions in the reactants and in the products. Two chloride ions here and then in the products. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for Na2S plus ZnCl2. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium sulfide plus zinc chloride. You can see that charge is conserved. We have a two minus and a two plus. They balance out net charge of zero. We have a net charge of zero over here as well. And atoms are also balanced. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion written first. It doesn't really matter. It's the same equation. And that's it. This is the net ionic equation for sodium sulfide plus zinc chloride. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.